Him is spoiled. Him went and played in the pool. Him got tired. Him gave me shit trying to dry him off and get all the sand off of him to come inside. And now him kicking a nap on him's couch while I get some work done. That's it. Oh, rough life, I know. Where's the lady? Where's the lady? It's like 94. Four. Okay. Good boy. Uh, let's go. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> on Thursday evening the 26th I have to be a little quiet because Emma's room is next door and she's sleeping um, but I'm going to do my hair again so I thought y'all could wish me luck it's gonna be the first time I've lifted it since back in the day when um, I had done an undercut to donate my hair I grew it out to my butt and I did an undercut to donate my hair um, to cancer patients and then I found out that locks of love charges to cancer patients So I still have said hair in a closet somewhere I even bought beads and stuff to make extensions out of them if I ever have the time but um Anyway, I thought about doing this live But because I tend to get loud and laugh and stuff when I'm talking to somebody I thought mm, let me just go ahead and do this pre-recorded So I'm wearing a mic. Hopefully I have an audio I tried to test it but let me turn on my vanity lights the lighting's gonna change in here but but I have colored my hair again but I didn't um, record it because I was just trying to get it done um, let me grab my new stuff but what I used last time that actually gave me the color that I want here and my roots was um, the 3VV I had I think I colored it, yeah, I colored it twice. Um, no, I colored it once. I mixed 3VV with 5VV. So I had bought two of each. And the 5VV put that same exact red that I was trying to get rid of back in the ends of it. So um, this is what I use. I'll pop it on screen. And um, what I had used the last time when I was in the toy hauler, and it was bright um, purple, it wasn't the Arctic Fox that I used last time and that I'm gonna use this time, which is purple AF. It was this other thing, I'll pop it on the screen. Um, <laughs> me making the sound effects. Um, but it was a lot healthier. It, it has like cocoa butter and stuff, 
cocoa butter, co coconut oil and stuff in it. So my hair's nice and dirty, so I thought, let me get this done. I kind of like doing my own hair, um, even though I started this time again because my guy kind of wasn't getting the assignment. But um, I like doing it myself because I can do it on my own schedule. See in the roots, it's got that um, red color again. You probably can't see, but... I think the 3VV is perfect without the 5VV, but we'll see. So what I'm thinking is, what I had wanted him to do was to not do an ombre, but to do the back, lighten the back a little bit, and then bring it up here towards my face a little bit so that I could put a brighter color there. And he didn't really bring it up very high in the front. So we're gonna try and do that today. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've um, lifted my hair. And I went crazy. It was back when, um, you know, like the all over uh, bright colors and then it went to like the pastel colors and all that stuff um, was in. And I, of course, me being the extreme and being impatient, um, blew out all the cuticles in my hair. So I should probably include some pictures. <laughs> I will if I can find some that aren't too private. Um, I ended up having to cut my hair really short and I did like a mohawk with the undercut <laughs> and uh, I look like a freaking fat troll but I freaking rocked it I went with it I used to buy um, the troll doll of whatever hair color my hair was and I would put that on the handlebars of my Harley <laughs> um, so yeah I haven't lifted my hair by myself since then so like I said wish me luck so what I'm thinking is I want to I'm gonna tease this part I can totally do it online um, to somebody that I watch um, on YouTube sometimes. Shout out to him. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to tease it up right here to make some uneven lifting here and here. I don't know because I tend to throw my hair to the side, but hopefully it works with this part. We'll see. Um, so I'm going to do that part first and let that process for like half the time. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw bleach into the ends and re-bleach these. And then I'm hoping I'll add the purple AF and then I will just get a trim. And that should be okay. Oops, sorry. I'm not used to wearing it. I haven't been streaming lately, which I need to start doing again. Mm. I guess that's about good, huh? <laughs> it's like you guys can answer me. Okay. God, my hair is so thin. I almost think that this is just going to break off. Hopefully that's not foreshadowing. All right, we'll try this. Let's see how it works. So yeah, step number one, wear a shirt that you can ruin. Step number two, don't lift until your hair falls out. That's going to be key here. <laughs> All right, so put some gloves on. This is pretty damn thick for two ounces. Um, so I said, just like, I think I'll just do this in two foils is what I'll do. Um, so my hair's so thin, I don't think it really matters. Dude, I know it said just two ounces, but I can't. My hair can't. <laughs> Keep on, bitch it. Keep on, bitch it. Keep on, bitch it. Yeah, you keep bitching about your problems like a bitch won't leave your problem. Keep bitching about your problems like a bitch. Yeah, you keep bitching about your problems like a bitch won't leave your problem. Keep bitching about your problems like a bitch. Keep on, bitch it. Keep on, bitch Keep on, bitch Keep on, bitch Keep on, bitch Oops, that's a little high. 
higher than I wanted. My bad. <laughs> it's already going wrong. I should have kept my plan and just uh, went with my dude. <laughs> Let him just do the back. <laughs> Look at this. What am I going to do with the fucking closet? No? <laughs> oh, no, Lanta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I almost hit my brush. It made it flick down. When I go in to have him cut my hair, he's going to be like, bitch, what'd you do to your head? <laughs> it should be like nothing worse than what you did to it. You're fucking red and purple. <laughs> I don't know what you didn't understand about, oh, violet. <laughs> Get rid of the red. Get rid of the chocolate red brown color because it keeps turning ginger. And uh, just make it Violet up here, and then purple. I guess there's parts where it's uneven anyway. Oh, my mic upside down. Should I focus the camera? But if not, oh well, I have to fix it and post. Plus, I don't have to do a whole fucking voiceover for this whole thing. I'll probably cut most of this that I'm fucking talking about anyway. Just been trying to do like a story time, catch you up, kind of explain shit because I'm always in a rush. Um, oh my god. Look at that. That's gonna be cheetah spots. me. <laughs> um, I'm always in a rush that I can't really tell you guys everything or explain things because I'm, my life is crazy. It used to be organized chaos and now it's just chaos. This year has just been a lot. We have a lot of friends and family that are going through stuff and who the fuck is texting me right now? Um, we have a lot of friends and family that are going through stuff and um, we're trying to spend time with them. We're trying to get so we're trying to get things in order so we can go spend time with them. And, oh fuck, I almost knocked that over again. And also, um, I wanted to get all of our vehicles registered in Arizona. And then, um, you know, we've had a lot of flat tires. <laughs> and damage that that caused to our boat trailer and the motorhome and other things. And it's like before I knew it, it was like, it went from being the beginning of the year where I'm like, it's March, I can't wait to take the boat out, to where it's fucking October, I still haven't taken the boat out, <laughs> and it's already time for me to start fucking working on our taxes and stuff. And like, Jesus H. Christ, where the fuck did this year go? We tend to, <laughs> ew, that was a little too powdery, that part didn't get mixed in good. Maybe I should do this on the other side, and this side on the other side. <laughs> Ooh, I pulled over. <laughs> Why is my watch not telling me who that is? I hope it's not M. Lowe saying, shut the hell up, bitch, I could hear you. I can't really check, because my, my phone is upside down, and um, my watch isn't... Isn't that like how technology goes when you really need it to work? It doesn't. Do you guys always have that problem or just me? Just wondering. It's probably Emma going, come to bed. <laughs> uh, I can't. <laughs> I'm in the middle of probably ruining my hair. Just kidding, universe. I don't mean that. Please don't make it true. Let's see how that is in case it's like Ron or someone close that is like, who would be awake right now and need help? <laughs> Your girl. Oh, it's a fucking... Are you joking me right now? It's a text from one of my credit card companies for fraud. I made that transaction in text MLO right when I made it. Now they're texting me hours later. Bitch, I ain't gonna call you. I just used a different credit card. Okay. Your loss. <laughs> oh, Atlanta. What time is me? Let me think about this, please. Yeah, I think I did. I just tore it apart. Okay. And that'll end.
And I think I got it all. I don't want to hear any fucking jokes about how thin my hair is. It's not for malnutrition. It's for, I've always had thin hair since I was a little girl. Look at how much of this I have left. Should I put more in? I think that's pretty generous. It's pretty saturated. I think we're good. Okay, I'm going to clean this. Um, should I check these? Or just leave them? I think I'm going to reapply it. I think he did that when he did the back of my hair. I think he checked it and he was like, mm, you just add a little bit more. Girl, don't do it. Don't do it, girl. Yeah, there's parts in here that are a little dry that are not covered well. Oh, she did it. <laughs> I really did it. <laughs> what were you thinking? I wasn't thinking, and that's the problem. <laughs> part and the two foils <laughs> it's something else <laughs> I need help oh we got some banding here <laughs> oh my lanta shirt out of it <laughs> no ammonia no ethyl alcohol oh good shampoo hair and dry i do have to dry that hopefully emma's wearing earplugs and she don't hear me blow dry my hair so if i don't come back for um, the finish know that my phone died let me see if i can check oh, oh that's not gonna oh that blocked with my lighting <laughs> What the fuck? Um, that's another thing, bitch. I'm gonna need you to learn how to use your phones. <laughs> I upgrade so often and then the updates come with them. It's like, okay, cool. I have this cool new tool with a badass camera, but I don't know how to use it. It's annoying. All right, I'm gonna take my mic off because <laughs> that would uh, end badly. Because your girl be forgetting shit and ruining electronics. All right, I'm gonna go rinse this out and we'll try it and see how it looks. Okay, bye. Okay, so uh, um, I found some shampoo that was under the front bathroom sink. That was my old stuff that I used to use. It doesn't, it's not sulfate free. So I saw a lot of my color color come out because I'm using Demi Permanent, Demi Permanent, because I don't wanna blow out the cuticles. And before I knew what I was gonna be bleaching, and not bleaching. I don't want to put anything permanent in it. Even though that shit smells so good. I was like, ooh, I miss the smell. <laughs> I mean, mine smells good too. It's the Redken Opsa thing up here, but it's the gold bottle. It's for like, it's to repair damaged hair. There is a part back here that's like super blonde. I think it's okay. I'm not looking forward to drying it without any conditioner in it because I don't want it to break. I mean, I could wait till tomorrow to let it dry naturally and um, put the purple in tomorrow. I just don't want it to break. You know, your hair is like easier to break when it's wet. It actually doesn't feel too shabby though. It also, I mean, I think I do have some permanent hair in the top. Yeah, I do. That explains why that top didn't lift that much, but it's fine. I think it's all good in the hood. I have to use this towel. <laughs> oh no no. <laughs> nay nay. I don't do that fucking ripping noise to my hair. And nay nay. <laughs> I 
I mean, I did tease my hair to color it, so I'm like, mm, this is a bad memory from when I blew out my kept my hair and um, it was all just like this and then it all fell out. <laughs> it's okay. This time it's from teasing it, woman. <laughs> Here's one little strip where it was double processed and it got real long. Ooh, it's a little a little stretchy there. We pushed the limit on that little strand. I think the, the rest is okay though. I always give away too much mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch I'm always pouring out my heart No little by little here I'm always pushing things too far Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar no boundaries, I get too close No little by little here Cause I give my all oh, No little by little I pour out my heart oh. I'm trying to have no purple ears, you know what I mean? Hit the wall I'd rather jump and risk the fall I see no limits in the sky No little by little here No, no, got stuck on working on myself Thought I was wrong and needed help but I'm just different, something else No little by little here Cause I get my Okay guys, I will see when I see you. I'll try and release Papa tomorrow so you can see my hair so fresh and so clean, clean. Okay, bye. Hey guys, it's me. It's, um, I just woke up, it was late. I think it's like, I woke up at 11.30. I went to bed super late. Um, tried to go to bed at two and then this one. Wanted out at four because he couldn't wait another fucking hour for Emlo, aka Pappy, to get up and go pop pot. I said Pappy, so he's looking. She's she's at work. Pappy's Pappy's not here. <laughs> oh well, he stopped. Okay, so I'm going to try to. Um, it's gonna be our first attempt at having a tripod up. Let me get your eye boogers. And already he's wiling. Stop it! No. Bad dog. Kisses only. Kisses only. We were over the whole mouthing thing, and for some reason, he just started doing it again. Bad dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. Kisses only. All right, so I was making his breakfast, and I thought, um, oh, let me show you guys what he's eating. He's eating turkey right now. Like I said, because uh, it's cheap and um, it's easy to get right now. So that's what he be doing. Um, I'm going to put you guys here for a second. I love it. Don't mind that cabinet. Turns out I had, when I made it, I had, um, not surprisingly, put the door on wrong. So I was cleaning and I realized... But I should have fixed that. But I just haven't had the energy. I'm taking out another turkey because it needs to defrost. He has enough turkey that we took out the other day. Yes, I have a kitchen chair. Mind your business. Y'all already know. Y'all yeah, see me fucking sit down on this to clean and shit. Wait, I had a bug on me. It's my hair. It's my hair. Oh, hold on. Let me turn this over. A little bit of private stuff and stuff. Okay. 
Um, so, Kim's has, we probably should have taken that turkey out last night, but we measured um, the first turkey that I got out into sections. And this should be a day's worth. This should be six pounds. Huh? It's either five or six pounds because we're moving them up to six pounds from five pounds a day. So we just split it in half because he eats two meals now instead of three. Him's a big boy. Him's a big boy. Yes. When him turned five months, he could go to two, two meals instead of three. So this is kind of how my hair turned out. It's a little frizzy, but um, it always is when I first wake up. So, back, back, back. Um, you can scale down. Uh, out. Out. He's trying to negotiate right now. Mom, but if I sit, can I stay? Out. He's a little shit. All right. Um, I gotta change it just over here. Over here. Out. That's bad. Motherfucker. Um, so if we've found, like I told y'all, with the beef and stuff that we um, get the blood out, and we try to leave these parts as whole as possible because um, it's good for the dogs to eat the bones and it, um, it's good for their teeth and their jaws. Um, and he gets really excited and he likes it. Oh, he's so cute. How can I get rid of him and him so cute over here? <laughs> Out, back. All right, so I'm gonna do half of this, which will be, um, I'm gonna do two and a half to three pounds. Care of that. I need that booger. Uh, this is a little lung. I'm going to go to for tonight. So tonight he will get um, this plus just like half a pound of ground beef in there. And I will, uh, of course, I'm just letting it sit. So it's not just sitting there. As y'all know, I'm not the cook. No, I didn't know you have to worry about something dealing with other foods and not just chicken. <laughs> so. I'm going to wash the outfit of this bag off because I touched it. Let me wash my hands. Um, okay, and then um, we use these joint supplements. No, they're kind of expensive. There's another one that's um, I forget what it's called. Well, actually, yeah, he's a fan of them as a treat, but. Yeah, this is two, two pounds and almost 10 inches. So that's good enough for breakfast. And um, I bought the scale that's washable on purpose. Um, and then I'm going to put the fridge. The fridge later, for later. Well, actually, I should see what this weighs. So I'm going to take more. We felt that that took you some odd enough in the cup. Right now, I'm going to have to show me. That is perfect. Plus, he has a little chunk of beef that has bone in it in here. So, that should be good. Pasta. Okay, let me close this. And then, water. Water, water. Water, you do me. I don't always sit in the chair when I'm bleached in here, but it's just it's easier with him, too. He's not from under my feet. He is trying to stay out of here a little bit, but. He kind of hasn't been out 
Huwag niya nasa tayo dito. Ano, may food a lot of people train their dogs like that but he so I can put you guys to see this he has always sat really far it cracks me up uh, he might even sit as far as over here okay you ready get back you are a little content creator dog yes you are Oh my god, is this the best thing of your life? Is it? Something about uh, the raw food yes. um, is um, he likes to take any special things like bones or his food and eat it in a certain place right on my damn carpet. So now I'm like constantly shampooing as it is because him's a pup pup and our shit gets dirty because we're constantly in and out um what is my new one this is my cue to take my vitamita regimens it's the same routine except during flu season i take uh, an additional thousand milligrams of vitamin c If you have energy problems or get like dark circles under your eyes, really bad, and you take these and eat right, you won't have any problems. Oh. So there's Sims Bowl. Let's see where he took his shit. Right here on the carpet. He normally goes right in front of this chair. It's tooth party. I put his ass up on the couch than me. last night. I was like, oh, hell no. For her I don't think so. Do you, do you get it? So, uh, because tooth has black. I don't know. Okay, I looked up tooth puns. All right, friends, that's it for me today. Thanks for oh, watching yeah, me react. I look forward to seeing you reacting to me reacting so that I can react to you reacting to me reacting to this. Comment down below your uh -oh. favorite. When I very first put him on chicken. There's some good tooth puns on here. Not I think it was. We so started him at night. And so the next feet. morning. <laughs> um, Nobody is more. I give it him like a breast. Helium short. On a strip. Cut in a strip. Oh, it was huge. Sure he could just use his breath. And he was struggling yeah, biting it because he didn't have. In 50 years, we'll have flying cars. Baby teeth. Him. But it was kind of big. <laughs> but I thought he'd be able to chew it a little bit. <laughs> so I went to take it from him. Because he lets us move his food. I've done that to make sure he doesn't get possessed of our shit. And right when he seen me coming, he swallowed it real quick. And he was like struggling to get it down. It looked like he was choking on it. 
part of speech now. When I was supposed to leave that day. Or solely with the intent of generating to head out to go see my cousin. <clears throat> and he had such a hard time. I was like, fuck, nobody's here. I don't have anybody to watch him. Is an expensive if he throws that up, quality or which these dogs are known to do. You know, examples would be like, we're a makeup company um, that makes some sort of eyeshadow palette. There's a chance he could choke on it when it comes back up. Because if it's some real like, fuck, I can't go nowhere. I gotta sit here and watch this. It's really just a chalky piece of garbage. So, but they make way more money on it than they probably should have needed this. So I'm not Maybe talking else. over this the whole time. Life. What else? Um, that $999 um. I understand that Apple came out with a few years ago. Wellness apps that tell you things about your body that you already know. Like, you're going to have an energy dip at 3 p.m. Uh, the big rib. You get it. Love friends, Hollywood. <sighs> anyway. It's a hungry business and many moon. Um, I'm the type of person that tries to do everything right but my lifestyle is crazy so i just do what i can but they do say that if you're gonna feed raw like don't expect perfection you're gonna fuck it up here and there you're gonna go through challenges and there's been times where we've had to put him back on kibble and can and every once in a while i still feed him that he had that yesterday morning like i said because there was a um a can in the fridge and he um it was his first day on turkey so you his poop's got a little soft, so I was like, let me just go ahead and use this can and let him firm up. It's so nuts, though. Because I could tell the difference right away in his body when I'm giving him kibble and can. Like, within, like, 24 to 48 hours, he just, like, he looks thick, like, bloated. It's, like, the same thing for people who eat a lot of carbs and bloat. Ugh. Ha, huh, he doesn't look so lean and muscular. He starts to look like just thick, like a little thick tank. So, yeah. His body weight looks pretty perfect. You're supposed to be able to see and feel like their um, last ribs. And he's supposed to have the indent of his tummy. So, him looks really good. You can't really see inside how buff he is, but. Him's pretty damn buff. Him gets a little workout. We haven't been on walks lately, but um, we've been tugging and stuff. So, um, and y'all already know I try to take him to the dog park. Okay, I am gonna get off here and I'm gonna try and make a Manny Petty appointment because your girl needs it. And uh, I gotta also wash my truck today. So, I'm trying not to take it to get it washed. I'm gonna try and do that shit myself. Hence why I'm savoring my knees. <laughs> um, I, I'm trying to tighten the purse strings. And it's normally like, I want to say it's like a hundred bucks when I take uh, Emma's truck. And I think mine um, is like 60 or 70. So, because we only get hand washes, you got to take care of your vehicles. Ming, when you put that much money into a vehicle, you want to make sure that you preserve it. And we always have, like, we always get really good trade-ins for our vehicles, but um, I don't think we'll be trading these ones in. I think these are our forever cars. We'll see how Ford does me. It's a long story with what's going on with Ford, but I need to take some time and sit down and write a letter. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. And I probably won't check in with my Manny Petty because that's kind of my time to myself to hang out. And um, just gotta sit here and watch this boy eat. Make sure he gets his little joint supplements. And then I can put him away and get ready and go. I might check in with the OOTD. Depends on how fancy I get with it. Okay. Bye. See you when I see y'all. Peace. Ooh. Girl. What the fuck? It's been a long time. Can you tell? I don't remember which knob controls this. Oh, it's that one. <laughs> your, your girl's learning how to vlog all over again. Okay, so you want to see you. Peace. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey. All right, so I tried to make a appointment to get my hair trimmed after I'd made a nail appointment. And my nail appointment's at three. The guy who does my hair cannot trim it until three. So, let me turn on my vanity lights. So, color adjust motherfucker <laughs>
I cannot get these ends cut off my hair. I needed a trim before I bleached it out, but they're pretty, pretty darn fried. So anyways, I uh, actually have time to do a little get ready with me. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I know a lot of people, um, my hair kind of has a wave to it. It was thin and uh, fine and straight until I was like, uh, I want to say like a teenager, preteen maybe. And then it kind of got this wave to it. So it frizzes when I brush it. But anyhow, I also crimp it to define that wave a little bit more sometimes when I have time. So I'm going to do it. And I see people struggling with how to do it because it does seem counterintuitive to do it correctly because it takes a lot of heat. But if you guys have ever watched my videos, like getting ready, I usually speed them up, but you can see steam coming from my hair, like smoke coming from my hair. And that is all the stuff that I use to protect it from the heat. Also what I do, if you notice, when I blow dry my hair, because I have like such finicky hair, like it really does take a lot of really good care and good product to grow it. And I also drink tons of water and take, you know, biotin and all that kind of stuff and my vitamins. Um, I have to be really careful with how I treat my hair. So when I dry it and when I curl or crimp it or straighten it, I will go a couple times, you know, from here to about here. And then I will only do the very ends one time. So that's with everything like drying, straightening, and even um, crimping. I usually section out my hair and I will leave the front together and I put oil in the back all at once. And then um, I'll put about four to five pumps of oil in the back and do the back. And then I will leave the front dry. And then before I crimp or curl or straighten or do anything with the front, I will put four to five pumps just in the front. Even though it's less hair, the front of anyone's hair really tends to get damaged a lot easier. So you want to protect it more. Mm -mm. What are you doing in here? Out. I have you trained to get out of here. Out. How dare you sneak in when I'm not looking. <laughs> He's uh, not allowed to come in this room at all, but our bedroom or our guest room without permission. So you guys have probably seen how I part my hair, but usually you want to like go wherever the comb, you know, the sit straight, whatever this comb, comb isn't balanced. So, um, and I don't really have a regular one in here right now. So we're going to just have to do this. And the part doesn't have to be perfect. It's just something I do. Like see my I have really like really wavy here, but then in the front, not so much. Let me go ahead and section my hair up. Oh, I should have my crimper heating normally. See, I'm already fucking up. It's been so long since I've done it. <laughs> and then somebody had asked too, which crimper to buy. And I will show you the one that I got and what I love about it. Because the secret to getting your hair to take any curl well or crimp well or whatever is of course heat and um, this one has a heat adjustment on it so I can set it I usually set everything to the max just because of the way I do my hair and um, because it it needs a lot of heat to get things done ski all right let me go ahead and pull my crimper out. It's not a crimper like the 80s, you know, the few barrel ones. So this is the one that I use. It's by Bedhead. It has the three barrels on it, like that. And um, here's the heat setting here. I want to say the max is like 400 and something. I will tell you right now when I plug it in because I will be setting it to that. <laughs> I try to set it somewhere where it's out of the way um, so I don't accidentally drop it on myself because your girl's a clit sometimes. There goes the dog barking at the uh, 
construction people. I cannot wait until they're fucking done. All right. Ugh. All right, so usually the first thing I do is turn this on. So the highest setting is, y'all can see that, 410 degrees. And I tell that bitch, please raise up off these NUTs because you get none of these. So then I will um, use this Paul Mitchell Super Skinny. It's a heat serum, all that kind of stuff. Also, when I brush my hair out, I use this, which also has a heat protectant in it. So you can never have too much. So for my length of hair, um, I do four to five. Um, that's four. And then I part it here. And then I start at the ends and work my way up. I never really um, put oil like on the crown of my head because then it just looks like your hair is dirty and you're a dirty girl. You want enough to coat it well. Mid shaft about there, a couple inches from the scalp to there, to the ends. And then I'm just kind of getting what's the oil that's between my fingers and stuff on there. So um, you guys have seen me blow dry my hair before. So I usually will open the cuticle with heat, put this on, and then close the cuticle. Um, but today we're not blow drying because it, it air dried last night. So I will um, just comb this through and then I'm careful not to comb all the way up to the crown of my head. Not the crown, but the root of my hair. So I don't bring the oil up too far. And the secret to crimping is the amount of time. I have this little piece of hair that I ripped out because it got stuck in my bikini <laughs> and it's struggling to catch up to the rest. <laughs> um, so it depends on how you section your hair out. I kind of like to be able to see it. So I tend to bring it forward um, more. And the top is what matters, you know, because that's going to show most of the crimp. But you can section it out however is easier for you. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just take like the very top piece of the back. Pretty much everything that uh, I have up front is going to be the top. But... My hair will be a lot better, a lot easier to comb once I get it trimmed. <laughs> it's like not having it right now, sis. It's like, bitch, you done bleached me when you needed a trim, and uh, now I'm gonna make it worse for you. <laughs> okay, so then I just kind of wrap this around and clip it up out of the way okay so I take it depends um, if your hair is really thick you're gonna take a smaller section but my hair's thin and you can leave it longer than I do but um, what I tend to do is 10 seconds of each section so I go 10 seconds 10 seconds and then I'll do like seven seconds at the ends so it gets, um, cause this hair, hair here is healthier. So it's going to take longer to take the crimp and I do it both ways. I like it this way to where I can see it, but sometimes with short arms and, you know, restrictions, I have to do it both ways. So I just take it here and I get it as close as I can here. Another thing is, is that you got to let go of this hair and let it squeeze down into the barrel because if you have it too tight it's not going to get it so then i literally sit here and go 1000 2 1000 3 1000 4 1000 5 1000 6 1000 7 1000 8 1000 9 1000 10 1000 so then i want this hair here to go to that barrel so i move it down and i do the same thing 1 1000 2 1000 3 1000 4 1000 5 1000 and i'm making sure not to pull on this part that was just curled 8 1000 9 1000 10 1000 Again, moving the last barrel to the first barrel. 
1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000, 5 1000, 6 1000, 7 1000, 8 1000, 9 1000, 10 1000. Again, last barrel to the first barrel. Not pulling on it. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000, 5 1000, 6 1000, 7 1000, 8 1000, 9 1000. Now we're getting to the end and I want the end to be curled down. So I wait until the tip is there and I go 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000, 5 1000, 6 1000, 7 1000. And that's enough heat for the end. So that's what it looks like. And then I take some hairspray and I spray it. And let it kind of just hang out like that until, uh, also I have uh, this one here, right? Is this the working spray? Workable wear, yeah, this. Um, sometimes I'll pre-spray my hair with this if it's too clean. Um, and uh, that this is like a, you can get any kind of medium workable spray if your hair doesn't hold a curl well. Um, I'm gonna be getting my hair cut today or tomorrow, I think, so I'm not really worried about how long this holds. And I honestly um, haven't done this in a while and my hair is kind of um, chemically treated, so I'm like, I don't really wanna put anything in it more than I have to. Um, so this would be, this is kind of a little bit more than one, but I'm gonna go ahead and just make it one because it's the bottom. And who really cares? Your girl has the makeup to do when I'm just going to get my nails and toes done. So I'm gonna get this as close as I can. I'm gonna let it loose a little bit so the barrels will sit down nice and firm. One 1,000. Two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. Be myself, I swear. I'm gonna give my all, cause I don't care. Let me fly, let me fly, let me fly into the sky. Let me be all that I, all that I can, I can be. Let me fly, let me fly, let me fly into the sky. Let me be all I can be. 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 because I need to get the up on out of here and I want to throw on some fucking makeup. So it's going to be a turbo mode of makeup and hair and out the door. I'll go in here for a moment. Um, I thought you were going to get a full get ready with me. Uh, I thought you were going to get a full get ready with me. Not really. We do together. We take two to do like now. you do
juice Finding my spots like voodoo, yeah
those things done when I go get my nails done <laughs> and uh because I usually take my bike or something and then figures today I'm like all right I'm gonna go ahead and uh have those things done but I'm gonna come in wearing bummy clothes <laughs> whatever me I do what I can I do what I can should I wear a different shirt <laughs> And make a coffee. Oh, I hate being late. And I'm never late for this. All right, let me turn this off. Turn that off. All right, guys. I will see you later. Bye. Two hours later. My oh, <laughs> I haven't put my mounts in here yet. A battle. I was able to get in for a trim after my uh, mani pedi, and so I was like, yeah. Um, I kind of blew out the cuticles in the front. Kind of knew I was going to because I needed a trim before I started. <laughs> And um, so the way I get my hair cut is I like it longer in the front than in the back. So it's real square in the back when it's all back. And, and, and uh, so I can do some stuff with it. Ooh, oh, oh, I always do the worst angles. Um, so wouldn't you know, uh, he's the guy who cuts my hair. He's really sweet. He's always like, um, I'm going to take off this much. What do you think? And I'm like, I don't care. So then in the back, he's like, um, it's going to be to about here. And he touches my back. I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. Like. I knew, but what didn't you know, like the back part where it was double processed and lifted really high, he's like, all that's gonna pretty much be gone. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. So I'm gonna have to reprocess it um, the next time, double process the virgin hair. So um, I was like, yeah, maybe I'm doing my coloring at home, so that's better on um, my pocketbook and works with my schedule more. But yes, it's probably gonna make up for what you made in color and cuts with my, my ass. So we'll see how long this lasts until I just decide to get rid of the lifted uh, parts. But anyway, I wanted to check in with y'all. Um, yeah, I just had them leave my hair wet cause you know, I ain't got shit to do. Um, even though it's Friday, I ain't got a job. I ain't got shit to do. Um, I need to get fucking Debo. <laughs> oh, how funny. I was talking about that movie and his name fits perfectly. And I was listening to this other song. It's called uh, What It Is, um, Black Boy, um, featuring Kodak Black. And that talks about that fucking movie as well. So um, yeah, a full circle moment. So anyway, um, the, ooh, it looks like it's a full moon tonight. I wonder if it is, I should look. Um. What was I going to say? Um, I would take my dog to the dog park, but it's closed for overseeding. So I don't know what to do. We'll wait till Emlo gets home. She'll be home in about an hour. An hour. I don't know what she has planned for dinner, but um, yeah, we'll see. All right. I, oh, I should edit and I need to get something up for y'all. So it's been about 10 days. I also want to um, start doing reactions on there. Like Emno and I have talked before, I need to get her her own mic for inside the house. Um, and we haven't done a beer koozie stream in a long time, but I really do need to start streaming before the end of the year. 
All right, so now that we've discussed my whole fucking financial plan and day, I am gonna let you go. I will see you when I see you. Peace. I'm not gonna fuss with the tripods, but I'm going to feed him again. And he's gonna get some ground beef. So, because of the blood that we found was kind of irritating to him, I get some paper towels so I can get the blood out. <laughs> All right. Too many things, too many things. Sorry, my life. Okay. Okay. So what he has here is basically just a bone with some meat on it left from like a stew chunk. But this should be probably like half a pound of ground beef. It's not bad. So um, it must have all come out last night when Emlo fed him the first half of this. He already got his joint supplement earlier. So that's a breast. This is, what is this, a thigh? That's a breast. Yeah, I think this is a thigh because it has a bone in it. Drumstick. And a little chicken wing or turkey wing, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm still on my chair. Shut the hell up. I didn't end up washing my truck today either because um, I couldn't get into my hair for my hair trim as early as I wanted to because they had a three hour wait. <laughs> and um, my refrigerator's yelling at me. Um, so, sometimes I do it this way and just use the empty water bowl to tear it the same bowl. Two pounds and about four ounces. Okay, so you're about four ounces shy. You'll be fine. It's not gonna kill you. My little hundred pound dude. <laughs> all right, let me go ahead and get this served up to him and wash all this stuff, my counter and stuff. Okay, bye. Just fed Deebs. Um, since I ran out of the house in such a hurry, I need to put some of my stuff away um, the, from getting ready. Um, my hair kind of just dried naturally. He put some Olaplex 6 in it, like bond sealant. Um, currently, my, my hair needs a little help. <laughs> help. I'm not going to brush it out. I'm just going to leave it because if I brush it, it frizz and I'm not going to style it for a while. We're just going to be unnatural for a while. Um, I normally do more fun makeup looks, but I was in a rush, so I'm going to just grab whatever palette was on top <laughs> and worked with worked with it but um and I use the stuff that I'm familiar with I do um use drugstore stuff here and there but it's like what is quick and easy and I should probably just leave this on my wrist because I'm probably gonna throw my hair up soon an alcohol wipe oh fuck I need to film that makeup on. I guess I'll do it tomorrow. I kind of want to do it um, when I have natural lighting. So I'm getting all the salmonella off my phone from recording that clip of me touching Deeb's phone. Okay. I mean Deeb's phone. Deeb's food and then touching my phone. I need to find a new home for a lot of things, honestly. This whole rack that I have out here, you guys know which rack. Oh, you can see it in the mirror. That one. Um, the purpose of it was to be able to hang 
I used to be able to pull whatever clothes I was going to wear for the week or um, whatever haul I was going to do. And um, it's kind of just never gotten unloaded from the last haul I did. And I brought some clothes from the toy hauler home that were packed for Sturgis. So I have that is super full. And I need to, I have that closet, this closet, and then in the next room I have the same thing. And then in our room, there's another one. And I think I only have like maybe this much stuff in there. I want to say I took it all out, but there might be like some random stuff in there. But I've been thinking, I have been wanting to pull out clothes that I won't use anymore, like scrubs and that kind of stuff, and sell them. Um, and then I want to donate, you know, like um, business clothes that I have to a battered, wo a battered woman shelter that they can have for um, interview clothes and stuff, so. Yeah. Um, ooh, what is it? Talk to me, sir. Tell me all about it. Uh, but right now, I think I'm gonna edit. I need to get something posted. So there's that. And then Emlo should be home in like 10 minutes. Um, Debo's so cute. Let me see if I could get him. I'm gonna get him on this phone. Let me make a thing where I can sync the cameras. Three, two, one. Deebs, come here. Come here, Deebs. All oh, people come in here. Come over here. Come here, let's go. It's cute, he knows Peppy. He knows about Peppy. She actually came up with that name by herself because now that, where's Peppy? He's gonna go look, watch. Where's Peppy? <laughs> he fucking speaks English, he's so cute. Um, She came up with that name by herself because, okay, let me end this one in. Take y'all off my mount, because I gotta edit. Because she works day shift now, so she goes to bed so early. And she does have a lot of old man tendencies. Like, she sleeps in long johns and that kind of stuff. So, it uh, fits her quite well. Alright, I am going to cut this so I can get it off and um, get to editing. So, I will check in with you sometime soon. As I always say, see you on a shame. Peace. Good boy. Good boy. I'm so handsome. Talk to me. Where's it? Good boy. Good boy. Look at those withers. Look at him. <laughs> he gets crazy. They go up all the way to his tail. Huh. This is nothing. Of course, mom missed the, the money shop. Let me get your eye boogies. Can I get your eye boogies? No, mom. Must protect. Must be big boy. Handsome. Come over here. Handsome, 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 handsome. Him's a hundred pounds, I handsome. 
times five months in about three weeks. Huh. Huh. A little less than that. I got your eye bookies. I got your eye bookies. Look at them big old feet. Him finally grew into his feet. Him's actually getting little peaches now. They don't look like little marbles. Your balls are dropping. Your balls are dropping. Yes, sir. Debo. Hey. <laughs> Leave me alone, Mom. This is my yard time. Him is such a good boy. Don't tell me no lies. I always get mine. Don't play with me. So do you want it?